Hey fragrance friends, it's Chelsea and I am back today with another video specifically for my summer and spring brides. So look, I've just been like you. I've been figuring out every detail of my wedding. Yes, your girl is getting married soon. I have been kind of struggling with figuring out the right fragrance for my wedding. You know, it's a really big day. We know that scent is associated with memory and I want to encapsulate the day in a fragrance that's gonna be special to that day. I have been on the hunt and I have a few fragrance recommendations for you. Also, I wanted to mention that I used to be both a bridal makeup artist as well as a bridal dress consultant selling very high-end bridal gowns in Beverly Hills. So I love weddings. I am a girl's girl. And when you're picking out your scent, you wanna be thinking of both the environment, the venue, the season, what you're wearing, as well as what is the vibe that you want to set. If you are a spring summer bride and this is not your aesthetic, I got you. This is going to be a whole series that I'm doing specifically for my brides because I'm a bride too and these are the things that I'm interested in right now. I'm going to do some videos for the minimalist bride, the earthy slash bohemian bride, also for the beach tropical bride, Ooh. also for the glamorous bride, the super high glamour bride that's getting married in like a big stunning banquet hall. Baby, I got you all. Let me know if there's anything that I missed down in the comments. This is going to be garden party edition. So if this is your aesthetic, then stay tuned. So if you are the bride who is thinking you want something super romantic, you're going to be having this daytime spring summer wedding, say it's going to be kind of Bridgerton-esque, inspired. You're the type of gal that's going to be donned in lace. You're going to be wearing something that's easy breezy. You're the kind of bride who is not into really crazy heady florals or is not necessarily even into, into really loud fragrances, but you want something that's going to feel warm, inviting, and you specifically like green notes then for you, I highly recommend Esprit d'Amour by Blocky. Esprit d'Amour is a floral fragrance, but is a floral green fragrance. And to my nose, it is just a stunning effervescence to it. Esprit d'Amour has Amalfi Lemon, Calabrian Bergamot, Orange, Lavender, Lily of the Valley, Tonka Bean, Sandalwood, and Musk. For me, the lavender in this is very soothing, it's very calming, but it's really balanced perfectly with the lily of the valley, the sandalwood, and the musk. Off the top, you do get this bright citrus, but then it does settle into this smooth, almost woody, herbaceous scent. Don't be scared of that. It's very elegant, very elevated. And something that I think is really fun about Esprit D'Amour, if I remember correctly, the perfumer's name is Lionel Nesbitt, and he is like one of the only classically trained black perfumers currently working behind the scenes for major brands. So there we go. We love something that's a little black made. Hey. Mm, yes. This is not going to be a fragrance. It's going to last all day. If that's important to you, then maybe you want to get a little decant. A decant looks like this. We see, we see. You can buy a pack of like five or six of these for less than 20 bucks on Amazon. Super easy to put your fragrance in it. Really mess free. Spritz, spritz. Put it in a pocket, put it in a purse, hand it to a bridesmaid, hand it to a mom. I don't know, whatever you want to do. I do recommend touching up Esprit D'Amour maybe at least four hours in. Also, little trick, if you do have a fragrance that isn't gonna last a crazy long amount of time, spritz your undergarments because that heat is gonna help that scent to radiate and we know that um, the fragrances tend to last much longer on clothing. Also, if you're wearing a veil, spritz your veil. Spritz the veil. Just make sure you do it maybe at least like a foot away and make sure that the fragrance isn't gonna be something that is highly pigmented. Like, it's not a this. On to the next recommendation. My next recommendation for my romantic garden party bride. 
I am going to recommend Carnal Flower by Frederick Mull. Now I actually have a decant of this. It's a 10 milliliter decant that I got for like 25 bucks on Mercari. Girl, if you are balling on a budget, do not skip on the decants because maybe you don't need a full bottle, especially if you're not the kind of bride that actually cares to have the bottle in the pictures. You know the professional pictures I'm talking about? It's so silly to me. If you don't care for that, then honey, save your money. Get it a can. Put it towards your floral budget. Whatever. Anywho, Carnal Flower is going to be for that. Oh, God, yes. That's got a little. Oh, I would say Carnal Flower is going to be for the bride that loves a little sex appeal, even for her garden party wedding. Ooh, I can see her in like one of those silk sheets, like a really close fitting dress. Maybe it's like a trumpet style dress. She's going to be the kind of bride, though, that wants to create an element of sensuality at her wedding. She don't care that the grandparents are going to be there. She's like, baby, I want to be sexy and I want to feel sexy and I want to feel sexy for my partner. Carnal Flower for me is that girl. This is going to be for my brides that like a white floral, but do enjoy still an element of green to it. I get a really strong hint of jasmine, tuberose. I want to say lily of the valley as well, but I'll read you the actual notes. Carnal Flower has notes of tuberose, eucalyptus, jasmine, coconut, orange blossom, ylang ylang, white musk, melon, and bergamot. It sounds like it's an odd mix of notes, but I am telling you, it is so smooth, so balanced. People are going to smell you from pretty far away with this because it, on my skin at least, it is quite strong. It projects. So you'll be leaving a beautiful scent trail everywhere you go as you walk past all of your guests, as you walk down the aisle, as you do your first look with your love. It's going to leave a lasting impression. Also, don't be afraid of that eucalyptus. To me, it's not too sharp. There's something about this fragrance that I do also find quite calming in the same way that I find Esprit de Amour calming. Get your nose on it yourself if you're curious. Oof, gee, goodness gracious. The next fragrance that I have on my list is Poets of Berlin by Wilhelm. Now, this is gonna be for my bride who is a vanilla girl. She is a vanilla girl, but she's not your typical vanilla girl. She wants a beautiful, warm weather vanilla, but not something too sweet. She's not a gourmand girl. She wants something that's gonna be elevated because it's her wedding day. You can see I have a little decant here and oh, I have just a wee little bit left. Gotta, gotta, mm, gotta top up. Anyway, God, I sound like a drug addict. Woo! Poets of Berlin is this delicious vanilla, not too sweet, has a little bit of fruit in it, but the kicker of what makes it so unique and interesting is it has this bamboo note in it that just takes it to another level. I'm gonna be honest, this isn't gonna be one of those fragrances that's gonna last either. You're gonna want to either decant this or you're gonna wanna top up. Uh, maybe like four to five hours in. It doesn't have a crazy big projection, but you will get about a good arm's length. And granted, it's your wedding day. Do you need abuse mode fragrance? I don't. What I imagine this bride would wear, she's gonna be your modern romantic garden party bride. She's probably gonna wear something that's really classic and chic minimal something that's going to be minimal she's going to let the beautiful location the florals her bouquet her beauty be the thing that speaks for her without trying too hard Ooh, she sounds like me um, maybe i like her poets of berlin has blueberry lemon bamboo orris vanilla sandalwood and vetiver one thing to know about Poets of Berlin, honey, if you are balling on a budget and you love this scent, but you can't afford the original thing, I have a tip for you. Wild Orchid by Floral Street. You can get it at Sephora, same perfumer, super similar notes. Maybe it's not gonna be quite as long lasting and maybe the trained nose is gonna know that the ingredients don't seem to be quite as high quality, but 
almost the exact same scent. I kid you not, you go test it yourself. You're welcome. You will save so much money. Mm, but the real thing is so good. Yes. I forget that it really just has the worst website. It's so old. Ooh. Okay. For my. Do I look okay? Yeah. Do I? Yeah. 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 You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Now, for my brides who like to be noticed. You're gonna be the girl who is probably wearing a super low cut back, maybe has a super high slit. Maybe you're wearing, ooh, maybe you're that bride that's switching into a really sexy dress for your reception, something that's like night and day different because you were trying to please mom with the other dress for the ceremony. Mm-hmm, you know who you are. My recommendation for you is Floro by Girobon. I just recently discovered Fluoro. I have a decant, well, I should say, I have a sample because Jeroboam is one of my favorite houses and they very graciously sent me a discovery kit. Whoa, <laughs> that's all I have to say about this. Fluoro is sexy. It is so sexy. Matter of fact, I sprayed it on myself, oh gee. I sprayed it on myself earlier today and I keep sent. I, 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 I'm speechless. It literally has me stuttering over my words. It is just that beautiful. And I'm really not exaggerating. You know, I only come on here to tell you about things that I love. And this is a fragrance that I have discovered and I love. And I will be honest, I am considering wearing this baby for my own wedding. That is how much I like it. Floro has notes of apple, pineapple, floral notes jasmine, sandalwood, cedar, woody notes, and musk. Something that's really fun. The owner of Jeroboam, who's also the owner of uh, Jevois Paris, I believe his name is Francois, he has this really interesting video here on YouTube that I found. It's an interview with him and the editors of Fragrantica. And I believe that they were at a fragrance conference. I wanna say that it was in Cannes in France and he's launching this fragrance and he's specifically talking about how they created a fragrance that was meant to be a weapon for attention. Oh, yes. And it really is that girl. Floro really is that girl. It is like this delicious, bright, transparent, white floral. But I wanna also say there's like orange blossom in there that I get. It has this really beautiful, deep, woody essence to it. But that pineapple just, oh, it's like almost ma mouth watering. It, it's, it's not like, um, it's not like a sharp pineapple. Oftentimes pineapple will be used to just slightly sweeten up a fragrance. And the way that it is used in fluoro is unbelievably sexy. People walk by and they're just like, what? smells so good. Like you can't quite tell it's a floral. You, you can definitely tell that it's a musk. I would personally define this as like a fruity white floral with a really strong musk and sandalwood base. That's what I get from it. Unbelievably sexy. Uh, I would say that this is also going to be for, again, your bride that likes attention. She's going to be that girl who's like the life of the party that is not afraid to get in the middle of the dance floor and be the first one dancing to invite everyone on. Oh my goodness, I'm describing myself. <laughs> Look, Floro just is that beautiful. If you are a garden party bride, try it out. Those are my recommendations for you for my summer and spring brides who are doing a romantic garden party theme for their weddings. Have you tried any of these fragrances? Do you have any to add for others? Please go ahead and drop a comment down below if that is the case because your girl is here for the people and I always am looking for new things. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I love you all. So thankful that you're here if you made it to this point in the video and stay tuned. I'll see y'all soon.